everybody. Today's video finds us up here in a rainy northeast of Thailand. We're up here, we're north of Pechaboon, and we're uh, kind of between Pechaboon and Peace Sonaluk. We're about 400 kilometers or uh, five hours north of Bangkok. I woke up this morning and I got a wild hair to jump on the motorcycle and uh, ride all the way up here to see something. I want to see a uh, first class temple. The first class temples are special temples in Thailand. There's 29 of them around the country and there's uh, 10 in Bangkok. And this is a first class temple. This one was built in 2004 and it's uh, really a cool temple. It won't be too big, but we'll check out the styling and it's kind of unique. And uh, I know I'm going to butcher the name, but the, uh, the temple is what? I think is how you say it. And uh, we're going to go and we're going to take a look. So uh, hopefully it'll uh, hold out a little bit of rain so we can see this. And then uh, after I get done filming, maybe it'll rain a little bit more. I have the rain gear, so it doesn't matter from, uh, from that point. So uh, let's, let's take a look. So this is the view. So you come up that road way over there and it's quite scenic. Even though uh, when I came up, it was uh, dumping buckets on me. But we're almost, uh, we're around 900 meters above sea level up here. And uh, you can see the, the dense vegetation and all of that. So uh, the temple is right up here on the top of the hill. So uh, let's see what it looks like. So here was my chariot that brought me up here. The Red Dragon, my uh, Honda 500X. And uh, Marco, he'll hang out here and he'll guard the motorcycle while we uh, take a look at this temple. So this is the, the highlight right over here. And they have a, a little market and everything set up when you come up on top of the hill. So they have shops and the normal stuff that you'll see around these uh, popular temples. So right here they have lottery sales. And then here's all the, the little row of shops. So you see they have the shirts that say Cow Co. There's a royal palace that's down here. Pechaban, I've never spent any time in this part of Thailand, but Pechaban looks really nice. I might have to come up here and spend, you know, four or five days exploring. You park here, it's 30 baht for a car and 20 baht for a motorcycle. And over here they have a couple little restaurants, which has a nice view. And then they sell the snacks. And there's the name of it, whatever that says. But this is the big draw. Now this temple isn't super, super old. It was built in 2004. And it's sitting up here on 90 rye of land, which is about 45 acres. And they're still adding on to it. They're doing some more stuff. You can see right here that they're doing a little bit of adding on for whatever. And then that little prong there. Right, here we go, this is what everybody comes here to see. They have the five seated Buddha in a row. And it kind of is like the Russian dolls where it has a small one and they get bigger behind. Yeah, that is fantastic. And then right over there, that is the monk quarters, which has kind of a, looks to me like it's kind of a European style. And then you can see over here, here's that kind of wild looking chetty. Yeah, that is fantastic. It looks like we can come in here. So they have the signs up saying to dress appropriate. We'll go look at these over here right after we look at this chetty. But oh, that's, that's spectacular. And they have this little thing right here. Not sure what it's about. It has the seated figure and then kind of some uh, wild looking things behind it. Yeah, so the ladies can't wear the inappropriate clothes. You have to take off your shoes and then we'll come on down into here. You come down the hill and they have a little shrine for Ganesh here. And then uh, you can go up these to that little chetty there. And they have uh, some places for people to come up here and meditate and do all of that. And then they're adding on to it over here part of all this construction. 
but it's pretty nice. They have all these little things here on the stairs. This is when you get to the top of the stairs. They have a little figure there. They have some more stuff over here. And this probably is a gift shop or something here inside. I'll stick my head in here. So I remove your hat and sunglasses. So it is like a little shrine room. And then you can make the donations to the temple here. They have a monk. And you can buy the amulets and little things like this from the temple. Yeah, this is interesting in here. This is definitely modern. Monk over here giving him the blessing. And then here's the different Buddhas from the days of the week. And they have a Buddha here and the prayer wheel. And then, uh, not sure what the stone is about. Yeah, they've made a little shrine out of it. It's a, probably an important rock. People stuck coins and stuff like that on it. So they have a Buddha here that they've carved out of that. It looks like a jade or something. Well, wow, it's quite nice. Then they have a Buddha footprint. People have stuck the gold leaf on. And then uh, a reclining Buddha. This is a nice look at the front of that building. You can see the little archway and then the lotus bud up at the top. And it has the standing Buddha and then a stairwell. Now, it, I think if you came here when the sun was shining, the ground would be super hot because you got to walk around here without your shoes on. But after all this rain, it's nice and cool. But the bad thing is, is it's uh, super slick. They have these marble tiles. And I was reading that there's something like five million of these uh, little mosaic tiles that they've used in the making of this temple. Not sure who was in charge of counting it, but it was probably a big job. Okay, let's go up to the top here. Yeah, that's cool. They have the little figure standing here. And you can see here they have more of the little stones. Yeah, this is definitely different than I've ever seen at a temple before. All these little symbols and little pieces of the, like the Chinese porcelain. And then they have the figures here. Yeah, this is a meditation center. And there's actually, uh, you can come up here and stay, I think, and meditate. It's kind of a big deal. It's supposed to be peaceful up here. I just wanted to see the building today, so that's what we're doing. Okay, this is up here at the top. That was that construction that we could see by the parking. And then they have some more things over there. And then you can really see this building. All the styling up above there. Yeah, this is really, really, really nice. And we can go inside right here as a sign, no smoking. I wasn't planning on doing that anyway. <laughs> Yeah, check that out. Yeah, that's really nice. I usually don't like the modern temples, but this one is, is pretty nice. Okay, it's locked up inside. You can see the two Buddha images, and then it has that stone in front. And then it's got just an open hall in there. There are some stairs here. Let's see where these go. The view from up here is really, really nice. And then that's like a couple little shrines over there. Looks like it has a monkey and another deity. Yeah, and this is the little hilltop that it's all on. That wind is howling, so hopefully it won't be too bad on my uh, microphone. Let's go up these other stairs here. And then when we get done from here, we'll go look at those five Buddhas and then the monk quarters. Looks like this is locked up also. Oh wow, this is a really nice view. So people will come up here specifically for the sunsets. You can see over there, that's more the meditation center and the new construction. And they got like little bungalows and stuff up the hill. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's a really, really nice look at those five Buddhas. 
and then you can see just kind of you're up here and this is your view when you're in Bangkok you don't get to see any of this stuff and then they have a another little part of the temple over there and they have one more section over there with an elephant and then a Buddha sit, seated there and that looks over towards the gift shops and stuff you see all the patterns and stuff that they've put in these into the walkway and these right here also and then they have this sitting here for some reason it has like a little jade buddha at the top and then it has like the they're kind of like an elephant serpent thing I'm not sure exactly what it is and they have these like crystal balls here okay let's go over and let's look at the main part of the temple now go over here yeah, they have planets and different stuff in the tiles. You see everybody's over here taking pictures. Lots of uh, ties here today being tourists. Kind of an interesting little shrine that they have here. And that's right next to the main Buddhas. So they have another one of these round ball things. It has kind of those dragon bird things. Can't remember the name of them. And then this is it. So you have a nice big observation platform over here. And you can see everybody is taking pictures. And then you can see, yeah, that is quite something. And you can see the clouds rolling in again and spitting a little bit of rain. Yeah, so this is what you come here for. And you look right up at the five little Buddha heads. Like I said, it's just like the little Russian dolls, only they're using Buddhas instead. So you can see all five of them, just the eyes right here. Oh, that's fantastic. And then they have a little room right below. So let's go in here and see. You can buy the, some little amulets, make donations to the temple. It's kind of an interesting room. It's carpeted. And they have some Buddhas around. And then over here's the the shrine. So you can see the shrine here it has the elephants and then the princess, a picture of her. And then you can see it has the peacocks, it has like a little Buddha, and then it has a miniature version of all five of those. And then their main Buddha. And then some more stuff over there. And then they have paintings and stuff of the life of the Buddha that's all around. This is quite a popular place here. There's all kinds of people in it. You can see the paintings up here on the wall. And then they have an area over there for the monks, it looks like. Yeah, so only the monks can come back here. And you can see, oh, that's kind of a different painting. So they actually have like a real person in there with the, oh, that's a monk and then the the Buddha is doing something for him. And then they have uh, some more paintings. Yeah, this is really a nice part of the temple here. And then uh, you see a lot of these temples. This is the, the money tree. So they buy these and, uh, and they go hang them on the, the tree. And this is the stairwell that goes up. You can see it has the little mosaics. Let's go up and see what this looks like up here in front of the faces. Looks like another stairwell that goes up, but it's blocked off. They have it closed off. And then they have a, like a metal door up there. And you can walk around that when it's open, but it's closed right now. Yeah, this is really nice. I like these little round ball things. It's different styling than I've seen in a temple before. And then they have uh, one more room up here. And you can see the view. Yeah, this is beautiful up here. They say like there's often fog up here that kind of socks this in and you can see the, the low clouds over there right now and over there. Yeah, this is quite beautiful up here. So this is in Pechaban. So they have a place you can buy some amulets and those little spheres, little boys over there racked out. Then they have some of the relics and everything in here. And then they have a massive reclining Buddha with a pink sash. 
and a pink motif all around. I've never seen it with a pink. Yeah, that's really nice. It's tastefully done. And it has the purple curtains and the gold curtains back behind with a little bit more of uh, some shrines here. So at first I thought these were old, old Buddhas, but they're new. They just have uh, made them look old. Some cool looking Buddhas though. And they have these wood cabinets with like the little geostone things inside of it. And a few more of those. Okay, let's go look at the monk quarters. That'll be the last thing we look at. So this is kind of interesting. It's all carved. This is a really nice hall. Even the coffee shop has got the mosaic up at the top. And it's right next to that. Yeah, this is fantastic. I can't get over how cool looking this is. And then that little Buddha there. And they have all these stones and everything. Now, I'm not a huge fan of modern temples. I prefer the old ones. But this one's different enough that it's uh, worth a look at. And here are the monk quarters. It's kind of like a European styled apartment building. Definitely not what you normally see for monk quarters. Most of the time they're in kind of like a little shack, like a, with a thatch roof and stuff like that, but not here. What is cool about it though is you see up at the top, it's kind of like the little onion dome up at the top. It has a prayer wheel and some other things. And then the mosaics all down in the front. That's going to finish up our video over here at this first class royal temple at Wat Pra That Pa Sorn Khao. This is uh, north of uh, Pechaban, about almost an hour north of Pechaban, about 70 kilometers or so. But it's, uh, it's quite cool though. Getting here, uh, I got here by motorcycle. There's buses and stuff that get you nearby, but you're still going to be quite a ways away from here. So the best way to get over here is to hire a car or if you were uh, to hire a van or a taxi or something like that to bring you here. I don't really know the best way. I just came by myself, so I can't help you too much on uh, if you wanted to come and visit it. So uh, anyway, I would recommend if you are in the area, come over here and check this out. It's uh, one of the first class royal temples. It's one of the 29 that are scattered out around Thailand. I've been to all but four now. There's two in Bangkok and then two outside of Bangkok that I need to go in, go to. N Nakom Phnom and Lampong, and I need to go to Wat Po and Wataroon. Those are the only ones I still need to go to. So hopefully, guys, you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed coming over here to make it. Uh, a little bit of rain, but hey, that's life. It uh, kind of makes things interesting anyway. So uh, I'll jump on the motorcycle and ride the five hours back home. It'll be a long, long, long day for me. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Uh, this is what I do. I go show you things that I see and uh, tell you a little bit about what I know. And if you like that, then uh, stick around and uh, subscribe. You're notified when I post a new video. Smash the like, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. If you want to come or if you've been here, tell me what you think. And uh, until next time, from over here in Pechabun. Remember guys, life is a journey. Today's journey got us uh, way up here in the mountains, which was pretty fun. So until next time. Enjoy. Enjoy.